what really shaped my life. I was born today, I was tall, but only my fifth year, I remember. The war, I remember hiding in the corner and terrified. I guess what came from that shaped me. I can't tell you exactly which one. Perhaps the civil war, perhaps my six, seven, eight, and ninth birthday celebration in the camp. Or perhaps seeing my father persecuted and running for his life. Or perhaps the peacekeepers or the three years therapy at freedom from torture, or perhaps the beautiful and lovely friend I have made through the Survivors Speak Out Network. Well, still I can't tell you, but I can tell you the tough life in exile taught me a lot. Stigma, shame, what can I do about them? I was and I am a refugee, not by choice, but by design. And I am for life and proud. There is something with a sunset in my memory of home. Actually, I could say home mean grandmother. At time, home was a tiny white ten in a sea of ten with a blue mark, U-N-H-C-R. You cannot miss it, but I still miss it. I am a daydreamer, dreaming about my future. A footballer, a pilot. Oh yes, I can travel around the world, escaping misery. Or even better, a filmmaker. I would tell my heroic story and action through film for millions to see. It is a real honor for me. Um, but I never dreamed of being a human rights activist. This important conference. The only right I have is to dream of achieving the impossible. Remembering childhood, life in a camp. I danced, I laughed and cried with the boys and the girls around the fire to the sound of a drum we played. I remember the best drama, the composer. It is that boy with a big forehead. I wonder today, who is he? Or even is he still alive? Those little steps made all the differences between misery and happiness, between wanted to live or wanted to die. In any hardship, the person who is willing to live, no matter what the difficulty, will be the one who will find the resilience to carry on. Nightmares, bad dreams, depression, aggression, Frustration, sadness, self-harm, tempers are only a few symptoms one had to go through it. In life, things come in pairs, positive and negative. For me, these negative experiences have shaped the person I am today. A compassionate, far-seeing, wise, kind, and above all rebellious against any abuse. Throughout my quest to finding the positive in my life, I have often wondered, who am I? Looking back to this different stage of my life, the adversity, the relapsing, 
and the recovery are the defining moment of my life. At times, I was so depressed that I wish I had no existed and blamed everything and anything. At times, I was so inspired by stranger generosity and I am inundated with hope of a better future to fight inequality, sexual abuse, racism, and torture. At other time, I would have liked just to be born another person and have a different experience and be alien to inequality, sexual abuse, racism, and torture. But again, I would not appreciate the feeling that bring the hopes of one life. I would not understand what freedom means. I would not enjoy one meal after a few days in the wilderness. I would not understand vulnerability. I would not appreciate calling London home. A better, happier and successful life is built through adversity. Setbacks are inevitable, but misery is a choice. The sun is going down now. Been at it for a while, and I have had enough of this. I doubt that we can solve it. Been trying for so long, and I just can't ignore that it won't.